Hey, I'm Christy. I'm a crafter, do-it-yourselfer. I have a friend who had a baby recently and I made her a gift using a combination of my Glowforge sublimation and tools in my wood shop. And I thought I'd show you what I've got done so far and video along um, the process of putting it together. So I wanted to do a birth stat sign and her theme is sunflowers. So I went on to Creative Fabrica and I downloaded an image, which is everything that you see other than the name and the um, text at the bottom. And then I went in using Photoshop and added the name birth stats. I printed it off on sublimation paper. And then I use these thermal laminate sheets that come actually as pockets and you just rip it in half and then you heat press this to whatever material you want to sublimate on and that material takes sublimation ink really well so in this case i used a white ford black ford from lowe's and you can sublimate directly on the whiteboard but it's not as vibrant so i added the laminate sheet so with the glow forge what i did is i cut out the white board black board um, background and then i made this little frame the coral one that goes around it so that was also cut out with the glow forge and then the wood shop tools i took just furring strips these are the one by two furring strips right and i have a router table there's another video on my channel that you can watch me making um, one of these same frames, but with mitered corners. So let's see. On the two two ends, I go all the way through because um, they're hidden. And then on two ends, I plunge it so that when they're stapled together, you don't see the gaps. Um, and then the other thing I do is make sure that my I have kind of a wider side and a little more narrow because of where my groove is so i make sure it matches up on all my sides i have here some e6000 which holds up really well for long-term use i'm going to try to get it into the grooves with a toothpick because it comes out like kind of rubber cement if it seeps out of your um grooves and i don't want that to show and then i'm going to secure it with my nail gun so because I put two layers here with the frame and the background, I actually, and because of the size router groove that I use, I have a pretty tight fit. So when I put this together, I know I'm going to be kind of pushing and squeezing a little bit to get it to fit. So I'm going to start, and this stuff is messy and I'm already making a mess. I might jump up and go grab a paper towel. I'm going to fit one of these ends in first. I'll be honest with you, usually I use um, super glue and I might switch to that. Um, E6000 I think holds a little more securely, but this sign is so lightweight that it doesn't need a lot of hold. And if you're really sensitive to um, chemicals and smells. This glue does have a bit of a scent. And you don't need a whole lot of glue. You just need enough to keep your project down in there because you are gonna staple your four corners. So this toothpick method is not really working for me. I think I'm going to probably run and go get some super glue, yes. That's just what happens sometimes during projects.
lot of glue. I get these from the Dollar Tree online. I get a case, I think it's 24 of them. It's a two pack in there for a dollar. Well, it's gone up to $1.25 now, so whatever that comes to for 24, I buy it by the um, box and have it, I'm pretty sure I have it shipped to my house and not um, the store. I've never used this. I think it just pierces actually. Okay, so this goes in a lot easier. The gel is easier to control, in my opinion, than the other. Um, original super glue that just comes out so much runnier so this just um, is my preferred but I still use both want to get these sides that are pretty quick. I'm not going to glue them yet, but I want to make sure I'm far enough over on these sides. So pretty good at the bottom so secure the stay there at the bottom and now I'll take out one side at a time and actually glue them and again you want to put enough to hold it but you don't need a crazy amount because of the at least with this project it's lightweight enough um, but um, don't put so much in there that it's going to seep out the sides. And I'm not going to put this side all the way in yet. I'm going to secure this top first. This is just the order that seems to be what works for me. Who knows, I might do it random. I, um, One more side to secure, and then I'm gonna um, put some nails in it. So I was able to do all four of these sides and still have probably a third of the tube of super glue left. So and they're small tubes. Oh, 
helps. didn't stick very well. We're going to do that one again. Sorry, trying to make it where you can see something other than a black side, but I'm not sure I squeezed my other side as tight as I want to for my gap. I might need to do a little wood filling with it. 